I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today at the RSNA meeting in Chicago. Researchers from the University of Genoa have found a cost-effective alternative treatment for plantar fasciitis. Dr. Luca Sconfienza said the combination of ultrasound-guided dry needling and a steroid injection was effective in relieving pain. As you know, ultrasound allows uh, the operator, the doctors, to guide precisely the needles inside your body. So we are able to put a needle where we exactly want to and to inject drugs and perform operation when we want to. And therefore, this leads to no risks when we do the procedure. And you see the needle coming in and releasing some anesthesia around the fascia. We try to tend not to inject anesthetic in the fascia. Then the needle is lightly retracted and then we start to perform some puncturing, repeated puncturing on the fascia. This is called dry needling. I will explain later what it means. And after that the needle is just slightly retracted and we inject some steroid around the fascia itself. Dry needling is a method to induce a very small bleeding around the fascia. The blood contains platelets. platelets. Platelets in the blood, of course, contain some factors that help the tissues to heal spontaneously. And this is very good because we allow nature to work for us. And this method could be theoretically used also in other pathologies like that, just like tennis elbow or golf elbow, something like that. And actually, these are our results, very simple but quite effective because in 39 patients we had that uh, those patients we had a complete satisfaction and a complete resolution of symptoms within two or three weeks. In just three patients we had an initial worsening of the symptoms, initially just about in two or three days, and then a complete recovery in about two or three weeks. But we had just two non-responders to the therapy. And our procedure seems to be very more effective than the others in the treatment of plantar fasciitis and also competitive in terms of times and costs. So we can say really less pain and less time and of course less money. The study didn't have a control group, however, and Dr. Sconfienza said this would need further study in the future. Um, we don't have a control group, a real control group in this study. Actually, in literature, the evolution of the pathology is really described. So we know that this condition usually is not self-limiting. We should compare three groups, and I mean, probably we should say that if, uh, I mean, we should say that our group of both treatment together are better than one treatment alone and the other treatment alone. And they say the steroid injection alone and the dry needling alone. This could be a very interesting step to carry on in the future. I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today.